Most people, when they look at your photographs, get it? Uh, I guess, you know. Just some people, they just don't see anything. They went in, look around, and he asked, where's the art piece? So they actually didn't see it, the art piece because uh, they actually become a part of the beauty. Maybe they, if they go fast, you know, they won't see the feet. Second, they don't have to have precisely white cube. You know. Only my work, white peaceful, no distraction. Yeah. So people can actually start reading. I like this uh, in China, they call read paintings. They don't see look paintings. You know, if you uh, Chinese landscape, normally long schools, you see from here to there, actually your eyes like traveling together with the eyes. I actually like this kind of, you know, if you go slowly, you can see from one to the third one. Now you start to uh, start to uh, <coughs> appeal in what I want to say. And the scrolls are read the, the way Chinese used to be written, right? Yeah. From right from, to left. From right to left. If you do too fast, you just see all black. Right. But if right. you're standing there over two minutes, the, the dark tone starts to start feeling these different tones, and even detailed. Yeah. It's almost like night vision. If you, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. walk outside, it, yeah. it's all black, but then after a yeah. while, you can start yeah, yeah. to see. The eyes can adjust it. But uh, it's, it's like a mysterious, you know, you, it's good about the film, you know, you, f you finish one row, you don't know what happens, you know, then you go <laughs> to the dark room, open it, develop, it's like, wow, good, oh, nothing happens. <laughs> that, that's it's, uh, interesting, but uh, compared to digital, you know, you immediately know what, what happens. So you think digital's kind of ruined photography in a way, or, or produced something totally different? A different philosophy, it's fast, yeah. because everything instant. We call the instant noodle culture. We call it hot and instant, like eat. But uh, when you have this uh, time, uh, the process, and get the result. But I, I'm not saying a uh, film that should be done. I should go back to the old days. I like the watermark on my, on my uh, photograph. Some photographer they couldn't stand it. One uh, series of my work is. Uh, Depending on accent, like the film in the middle totally like explodes, so it's a big black mark, which is uh, very good for me. Like uh, look like a Chinese painting. So do you think that ties into what you talk about with like the roughness or the energy of Chinese art? Painting, sculpture, oh, it's like uh, by bronze. I don't want to polish too much. I leave some uh, random systems. Sometimes I do. I do a little bit of patina, or I left for years to get the patina. It's all the process. For me, it's important and fascinating. What do you think the future of con contemporary abstract Chinese art is going? We are quite depressed at the moment because it's very hard to. Only the friend, artist friend appreciate what we're doing. Audience from uh, different uh, middle class or they don't really understand what we do. We produce fast because uh, you are living fast. Like studio, you have to finish like a renovate in three months, you know, because you save three months. If you take one year to, to, to finish, maybe after two years they, they turn this down. You know? So we, we actually catching up the time. We, we come, if we have space, we work constantly focused. We fight in different way. We focus on what we do, we express. And uh, we are like, uh, not covered by, by society. We are part of uh, ongoing things. We also think about uh, life all the time and uh, struggling. And we uh, actually try to use our art to express the understanding about the whole, the whole thing. Why are we doing art? Why are we doing it? What's it for? Material involved, space, cost, family suffering. Sometimes we actually we don't know.
what does it feel like to be back? The mixed feelings, you know. Uh, it's nice, cool from there. Mm -hmm. Big. Wow, this is my probably third time to be here. Second time I'm collecting my rocks. And uh, after they turned down, I took some photos. But now I'm quite impressed because they dig out all the cement, make like a back to a field again, which is quite uh, impressive. Good job. What do you think about the government policy with kind of these massive transformations going on all over Beijing? I, I don't think so. It's not a solution. You know, when the city expanding so fast as Population so big, you know, it's developed. But uh, but if they are more careful, you know, it's not only put people in the, into the small box, you know, catch the small. It's going to be more poetic, you know, more beautiful. But you, as the transition you've made from painting to photography. Yeah. Do you think you've become more of an observer of society? Because a lot of your work is more explicitly external in a way, while also still being internal. So three years ago, I feel it's changing so much, and the painting cannot catch up the speed. I cannot record what I see, but camera can do. I can edit, I can get all the flash in my head into the film, or now it's digital, more, I mean, economic. So it's good. Yeah, I'm happy. So what do you think of the role of the artists in society? Obviously, artists are part of society. You feel the changes, yes. the studio being destroyed, and so on. But in some ways, you're observers of society, too. Uh, and what do you think of that relationship or the role of the artists in society? Well, we are still in the society, of course. But we, are, we feel more pain, you know, because we we actually in the frontier. We actually... Now we realize, we, we, before we thought we are like special people. Actually, we, we are actually more or less connecting to the migrant people, which we live in the outskirts of city. That means uh, cheap rent, big space. Now, uh, myself, I'm quite happy, and uh, I, uh, the, the, the new place I found also outskirts, so I'm uh, still uh, stay with migrants or the farmers, which is those people. The farmer, the migrant workers, the newcomers, the, the labor class, more or less. They feel the, feel the changing all the time. You know. So here it's changing fast, you know. But uh, exciting. <laughs>